Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Haiku Friday, May 15th, 2020. Oh, that coffee is so good this morning. It tastes so good. Um, let's get started, shall we? All right. The first one is a bit of a birthday present towards me, and I really, really appreciate that. It's, uh, and it's kind of embarrassing to read because it's so nice, but here we go. Mm. The day of your birth. Amazing, beautiful time. Maeve, thank you for being. And that's from Mark. Thank you, Mark, very much for that. That is a, a very lovely haiku and a beautiful sentiment that I loved reading on my birthday. So thanks for that. Really appreciate it. All right. Here we have one from our pal Rico-san. Rico-san, our poet laureate of Haiku Friday. Fighting is useless. I will follow the current and see what happens. I think you're right. I always swim at an angle towards shore, Rico-san. I think we're all kind of doing that right now. Um, here's a couple from Steen, Steen on the front lines, uh, uh, making things happen for people. Here we go. You'll catch me humming the essential worker blues while I stock the shelves. And I'm sure, I'm sure people get that. Just like probably my haiku this morning, nobody's going to get, but... Um, but I get it. I get it. Thanks, Steen. That's beautiful. Keep on humming. Uh, <laughs> and here's one from Steed that's full of double entendres, I believe. <clears throat> My impulse sprinkler lost its spontaneity more like a weeper. So that one again. My impulse sprinkler lost its spontaneity more like a weeper. I'm sorry. Very sorry. Sorry for all those involved. Thank you, Steen. Awesome as always. Uh, here's one from yours truly. And it's a real geeky Star Trek reference and a 60s song reference at the same time. Ugh, I'm getting bad. Here we go. When Yangs and Coms fight, the girl from E. Plubnista plays in my Spock mind. The girl from E. Plubnista plays in my Spock mind when those Yangs and Coms fight. All right. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I put something on my blog uh, yesterday, over the past couple, three days, uh, kind of toying with an idea. And uh, I don't know, I get sidetracked on ideas sometimes. I've been doing Haiku Friday for a very long time uh, and I would still do it. But I was wondering if it would be beneficial for me to take like the month's haikus, uh, compile them, put them in a zine, make that zine, uh, you know, an actual physical thing, uh, put them out for distribution and, uh, they'd be free and have, uh, what people send me, uh, maybe short works of fiction or their cartoons, uh, works of art that are printable. I'd put those in there too. And I just call it like the Spokanorama blog or zine. And I'd put it up on the Spokanorama blog. I saw a thumbs up from somebody. All right. So, if you think that's a good idea, let me know, would you? Because I, I don't know anymore. I'm just not sure if I know what's a good idea or not. And maybe I just want to make one scene and see how it goes. I got my glasses on. I see Ashlyn is watching. And Riley says he'll contribute. All right. So I guess that's a thumbs up from Riley. Okay. Thanks, you guys, for watching and for all of those who be not watching this live, but watching it uh, on video. 
And remember, it'll be on Haiku Friday. To, Haiku Friday. Oh, thank you, Ashlyn. Uh, it'll be on Haiku Friday as well. Um, the uh, this this uh, video, <laughs> and you can contribute your haikus through haikufriday.com, or you can leave them as messages on the bottom of this haiku, whatever you want to do. Send me your stuff. And again, it doesn't really have to be a haiku either. It could be a, a, another type of poetry or just a simple howdy doody. And I will see you guys later, okay? Hi, Doug. All right. Bye. I love you and thanks for watching. See ya.